So so-called King Charles calls for unity and he defends the people that stood up to racism in the UK. But is it because of the tourist attraction and the season? What's going to become when it is the autumn and the winter? The unrest there isn't going to end soon. So-called monarchy is a reason for a lot of it. Oh, as you know, after George Floyd and uprising in the United States, a lot of people are coming over towards the UK and say, hey, y'all got some right into the wrongs yourselves. And some statues were pulled and some things happened. Oh, believe me, reparations are owed across the pond too. The Caribbean and Africa and Jamaica and extra. Because remember, you got to get to England before you come to the States. Or doesn't he remember colonialism? Don't he remember how those monarchy and those buildings and a lot of their power and their accumulation became? He do understand about the white privilege and what they've obtained and how they benefited. You know, even though they abolished slavery in 1830, they paid all the owners the money. They did not take care of the people. So they've been able to wash their hands on one side. However, they are the motherland of the divide to conquer. I hope he understands that. I hope he gets it because I'm speaking nothing but facts. His grandson left there. His son, his wife, and all of them left because someone made an offensive remark. So before you uh, talk about standing up to something, why don't you take care of your own house? How come there hasn't been an African-American or a black person to represent the prime ministry? And I'm talking about no shuffle. Straight doing it. You want to talk about standing up to something? Why don't you pass reparations? Why don't you acknowledge what you took from Africa, what you gave to America, what you owe back and forth? See, when I speak on these issues and topics, I mean them. I have blood in Wales. I have blood in England like most African-Americans do. But are they going to invite you to the cookout? I don't know. Are they going to invite you to tea and cake in tea time? I don't know. I don't think Wimbledon, I don't think they're going to go back and look because they think they've been removed. They've been sitting in that dirty bed of privilege and they have not acknowledged it. And he hasn't either. That's why people were calling on his so-called monarchy when they went to the islands in Jamaica and whatnot saying, what are you going to do about the past? What are you going to do about acknowledging what you took, how you built your wealth? So when you call on these people to tamper or not, what have you. What are you going to do about the past? How are you going to remedy this? Oh, there are going to be people that says, well, we gave America that we get that, but you're responsible. You are responsible. Remember, Plymouth Rock didn't land, like Malcolm said, didn't land. they land on Plymouth Rock came to take. They came to, you know, if you notice the colonization of Virginia and Maryland and Carolinas, all the British namery imagery, but the tongue has been flipped. What are we going to do about that? How are we going to make that right? You placed your name and your places and people and situations, but you removed what you left as the deed. How are we going to remedy that, King Charles? What are we going to do? Because you know it's going to happen again. And you already know. There is answer and the day of reckoning is going to come where you're going to need more than just saying you want peace. You have to understand why the forces feel that way. Why are people who are non-black in England feeling threatened like non-black in America are feeling threatened when there's nothing there that's taking anything from you? However, this falseness, because you ain't sleeping right, you're not been right. And the reality is, it's coming where you have to repent for what you took. And you took a lot. And you haven't acknowledged that. You haven't acknowledged that. So that's what people, that's, what, that's what's going down. You know, you have to acknowledge it because if you don't relearn from the past, you're bound to repeat it again. And that's what you're seeing with the people who are 
Don't even know why they're angry. Because what are they angry about? You know. I can tell you why African Americans in America are angry. And why they look at different places. Because all that offshoot and offset. But who has left trails everywhere. But never acknowledged the past. You don't get to one shore without another shore. Without taking something. And you get to name everything and we got to act like it's normalized when it's not. So make it make sense, King Charles. Because this is history that's looking at you. And it ain't good. And it started in your own home. Why is your grandchild in America? Because offensive terms were used. And they diss Meghan Mark and you can say what you want. But you can't dispute the racism. That's what we're seeing loud and clear. UK, America, and Canada, and all Europe. When they haven't acknowledged the blood on their hands. Please like, subscribe, welcome, thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shit review if you like. And please hit that membership because when you do, the request for you just come back to you. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay calm. Stay cool. Stay collective. Be safe. I'm back. Peace.